Hello, I am D. Rai Babu, working as assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, SRK Engineering College, Bimavara. Today, today's lecture, I am going to explain interrupt latency. What is interrupt? Interrupt is an external signal which is used to stop the current execution of the CPU and may cut into the interrupted process. The term interrupt latency is refers to the amount of time of it taken as a system to respond the interrupt. It means whenever uh, some IO device calling the microprocessor, example keyboard, whenever we are connecting a keyboard to the IO port, USB port, whenever somebody presses a key, that time the IO controller will request the microprocessor as interrupt request to run the keyboard driver that is ISR interrupt service routine whenever we can press a key on the keyboard then how much time taken to read the key from the keyboard by the system and store that pressed key in memory that is a interrupt latency and here interrupts are tool for better response from our system because the speed with which an advanced system can respond is always preferred. To keep the interrupt latency low, you should maintain the following things. First one, make an interrupt routines should be short and disable the interrupts only for short period of time and speed of the system depends on the following factors first one how much period of time which the interrupts are disabled and the period of time takes to execute interrupt routines and how long it takes a microprocessor to stop the current program execution do the necessary bookkeeping like store the previous address to the stack and read the interrupt vector address to load the ISR routine and response how long it takes the interrupt routine to save the context and then do the NF work that decides the response here we can observe the case, case 1 worst case interrupt latency. Here in this diagram, task code disables interrupts for certain time and whenever IRQ is requested. IRQ is requested but interrupts are disabled. That time, this request will go to the wait state until 250, for example, 250 microseconds. After this 250 microseconds delay, the interrupts are enabled, then only the interrupt request will be received. Then the microprocessor will attend the ISR subroutines. So, to complete the ISR subroutines, approximately it will take some time 300 microseconds. So, here totally to whenever IO device requesting the microprocessor to handle the subroutines, approximately it will take time deadline to 625 microseconds so 300 microseconds so yes or routine plus delay of the uh, disabling the interrupts to 50 approximately 625 microseconds and second case second worst case here in this diagram again task code disables the interrupts and IR key is received but here interrupt interrupt occurs there is some request from network but this request also delayed to until 100 microseconds actually the disabling interrupts to 50 microseconds plus network interrupt network uh, interrupt occurs that is also for 100 microseconds and after delaying 100 microseconds the microprocessor load the address of the ISR and execute in the SR. For the execution, it will take 300 microseconds. So now, this total time will increase to 625 microseconds. 
so this is the worst case interpretation so we try to minimize the interpretancy the interpretation should be short and disabling the interrupts for short amount of time okay thank you